We abandon children with ADHD when they're 18 years old. At the time that they're learning to drive, to live on their own, to go away to college, to date, to get involved in intimate relationships, to perform academically and go to college, that's when we stop all treatment. The National Institute for Clinical Excellence recognized the hard science that demonstrated that the majority of children with ADHD would go on to have functional impairment as adults. They mandated the National Institute of Health to provide service for adults. Different models of providing care were developed. One idea was to put it in adult medicine, adult psychiatry. The problem with that model is you may treat the parent, but who's going to treat their child? And how are they going to recognize ADHD when they've never seen it in children? And how are they going to diagnose comorbid neurodevelopmental disorders that they've never been trained in? When a child comes in, the father often says, but I have that too. And if you don't treat the parent, treating the child doesn't work. If you don't treat the child, treating the parent doesn't work. This is a familial condition. The only way to get the expertise that you need is to have adult and child clinicians working together, treating the family or multiple generations of the family in a life cycle.